yes hello members once again uh, we have this number <coughs> but this time we are going to differentiate using quotient rule how do you determine that you have to use quotient rule of course you have to have a number like this then divided by another number or expression if i would say so i don't want to further waste more time just like a product rule this one has a formula like this and in here for it it has a minus sign but the uh, the product rule it has a plus and doesn't have anything over like v squared so this is product rule that's how you identify it if you have if you have given been given an expression over another expression then you know you can use product rule to differentiate it so as i told you first identify let this upper one be my u and this denominator be my v so having u as x minus 3 to power 2 so my du the x will actually equal to 2 into x minus 3 then the if you are differentiate the, the the bracket only i'll get one so this is my differentiation for you and also v which is x plus 2 squared which means my dv dx it will be the same as 2 x plus 2 if i differentiate the bracket only i'll get one so this is my dv dx so since i have whatever is required now i can start to put into the formula so what's my v my v is following the formula up my v is x plus 2 squared i hope you are getting me then time was my du dx which is this i hope you are seeing it all 2 into x minus 3 then minus what's my u x minus 3 squared then what's my dv dx it is times 2 x plus 2 yes i'm so far getting done with this but i have to include this v squared my v squared it will be this squared so it will be x plus 2 to power 4 I hope you are getting me up to that point so now if you take a look into this we have common factors which I'm going to which I'm going to put out I have x plus 2 after just after this negative sign I have also x plus 2 somewhere I have this 2 I also have this 2 here I have x minus 3 into brackets after this negative sign, I have also x minus 3. So, what's our common factors? I have 2. I have x plus 2. I have x minus 3 being our common factors. After factoring, factoring them out. So, in here, remember I've laid them out. So, in here, I will remain with x plus 2 since it is squared so one went out and one stayed then minus minus x minus 3 another one went out so this is what i will have i hope you are following in case of anything you go back and sharpen your algebra and everything will be okay so I'm up to that point so over the V squared which is x plus 2 to power 4 I hope we are together so I'll have 2 into x plus 2 x minus 3 then solving this bracket i'll have x plus 2 minus x plus 
3. If a negative finds another negative in the bracket, it becomes a positive. So, I believe, I believe you are getting up to that point. I believe I are getting up to that point and no one is lost. So, over the x plus 2 power 4. So, in here, I will have still x plus 2 to outside x minus 3 then in here this x will go with that one and i will remain with five so time was five all over x plus two to power four now this x plus two up in the numerator side and this x plus two to power four this one will cancel this one and you remain with three up uh, down here so my final answer after differentiation it will be 10 which is 2 times 5 into x minus 3 all over x plus 2 to power 3 so this the whole of this is called quotient rule so i believe i've made it easy in the simple form anyone could understand so i wish you the very best thank you very much as we are proceeding to other numbers